size. It doesn't mm -hmm. always work that way. So as far as height of the bed when you're doing it, you kind of have to go between, <laughs> if you've got a tall person and a short person, the tall person might have to stoop a little bit and the short person might have to lift a little higher. Um, so when you're uh, moving a resident up in bed, the first thing that you want to do, of course, is always you're knocking and saying, you know, good morning, Mrs. Smith. Um, it's time to turn on to your side. Get your hair out of the way here. It's because that bothers me. Um, so we're going to help you. Um, we're going to pull you up in bed first before we turn you. So first thing you're going to do then is I'm going to take your pillow out from underneath your head and you guard their head because sometimes you have two really strong people and they go up and forward and go bank into the top of the bed. You don't want to do that. <laughs> it causes her injuries. So let's go, um, have you go ahead and take the side rail down if you would, please. Yeah. <clears throat> now you take and roll the um, <clears throat> turn sheet up as close to the person not touching your uniform. Okay. <laughs> what not to do. That's what I was showing y'all. <laughs> okay, and you can either grab like this or you can grab like this, however you want to do it. All right, but you're getting as close to the resin as possible. Now, <clears throat> you get your knees bent out to the side. Get your knees out to the side. Spread them each way. No, mm -hmm. Spread the knees this way. There you go, so that you're close to the back, okay? <clears throat> Now, the problem <laughs> with this type of thing is if there's not communication between the two nannies that are doing it. So mm -hmm. you get eye contact with the person. We're going to go on three. Mm -hmm. I'm going to count. Okay. One person or the other counts, okay? So on three, we're going to go up and then forward. Okay. Ready? Get your knees bent. Yes, ma'am. All right. One, two, three. Oh, I'm going to stay up in the now, do you see why we have a pillow there, okay? Because she is fairly lightweight and <laughs> we both have pretty good muscle. So then you go ahead and make sure that the turn sheet is flat underneath the person. And go ahead and tuck it down <laughs> in the side of the bed. And then you would go ahead and put the pillow back under the person's head and make them comfortable. Mm -hmm. right? Same way with going down. With going down again, you get the sheet up. Hold it in as close to the person as possible. Okay. Good. Good body mechanics. So we're going to go down on three. You want to count? One, two, three. Okay. Up and down. All right. <clears throat> so we moved them down in bed. Now, if you notice where the position of the turn sheet is, it is about mid waist or so and about mid thigh. Mm -hmm. Or so you want to have because this is where the most weight of the body is. If you have it down too low, you might move the this part of the body up, but you're shearing skin on the top part of the body. Or if you have it too far on the top, then you're shearing skin on the bottom as you're dragging that part of the body with. Okay, <clears throat> so let's have people go in two people at a time. Um, <clears throat> move your person up in bed, move them back down in bed. Are you 